There are a number of buttons and controls on the HP oscilloscope that you need to use for this laboratory. The first is the on-off button. I'm pressing that. The oscilloscope is starting up. It takes a few seconds to warm up. Right now it is connected to the Elmo CCD TV camera. And we see some kind of signal here. I'm going to hit auto scale. And what we see is the signal going through with three sync signals. Now that may or may not happen with your oscilloscope. So there's this control here, time and division. It's showing one complete cycle. I'm going to turn it so that I see three different sync signals. Now at this point over on the right is the mode button. And these are the soft buttons that are defined by this listing here and I want to click on the on the TV signal. We're seeing different parts of the image that are coming through and I have to capture it. So I'm going to hit on single which is a single frame that it's capturing and we have to cycle through the different parts of what the camera is sending and the oscilloscope is receiving. So up at the top here it says storage and there's a button run and I click that run button, could be several times, until I get this image which is the step tablet. Now we need to take some measurements off of it. Up at the top it says measure, we can measure voltage, time, and we can adjust the cursor. If I hit voltage, we have three different voltage measurements. This first one gives me the high and the low voltage reading. Here it says 850 millivolts. I can get voltage average and voltage VMS. And you would record the proper one that you need. I'll clear that. There's a time measurement frequency, period, and duty cycle, and if I hit the soft keys, I get the three measurements for the time measures. And I'll also clear that and go back to voltage. This time I'm going to click on cursor. And we have the active cursors for voltage 1 and voltage 2. If I click the first one, I can adjust where the bottom voltage gets recorded and I can make that reading. If I click it a second time I can move the upper level and place it where I want it by taking the difference I can see what the voltage is between the top and the bottom. So those are the the buttons and controls that you need to be able to use with the Hewlett-Packard oscilloscope.